Good morning. In this video, I will explain how TauJom outputs can be copied to PLS uh, uh, as inputs to PLS so that a Tau geometry can be fastly done in PLS. So in this one, uh, we have to go to the output files that are generated in uh, P in, uh, Tau Jam and uh, copy those uh, data to the PLS uh, uh, PLS tower. Okay, so let me go through the pro different steps that are involved uh, in uh, doing this exercise. So in order to do this one, first we have to have an empty PLS uh, project, PLS tower uh, project, where uh, we can have some input uh, preferences. And then now we have to go to the uh, downloaded uh, TauJam output file where you can see that uh, there is a file called generated output file underscore demo that is extracted from the zip files of uh, uh, TauJam. Let me open that one. If you have the enable editing and enable content, please uh, cl uh, click on this enable content because it has got some macros in this Excel. Now, if you see, there are different sheets in this uh, output file. One is the project specs, steel database, bold database sheets, angle database, panel types. Okay, loads input is uh, for future use. But if you see, there are some data with the called primary load nodes. Secondary nodes and then sections information, angle groups and angle members. All these five sheets, primary nodes, secondary nodes, sections, angle groups and angle members, these are the five sheets that are related to the inputs that can be directly copied to the PLS tower. There are other sheets which actually it is a general information of what are the patterns that we have selected, what is the base width, top width of each panel that program Taujam computed. So again, these are the member info, which at this point of time we may not need it. But there is another uh, output that is created by Taujam, which is a panel base weight, which we will go into the details of this one in the next videos. But it's just an information you will see there are different sheets that are created by Taujam. Similarly, event calculation, wind calculate 35 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees and what is the wind area on um, a long wind when you are calculating language tunnel wind on transface area similarly transverse wind on long face area what is the wind area here okay so these are the different shapes that program has computed program creates all these shapes now in order to copy the data from um, the PLS uh, to, uh, from this output to the PLS first we need to go to the project specs Review the data that has been there in the project specs. The, the most sophisticated in that Excel sheet is the moment when you change this grade here, all the sheets that are dependent on this one, suppose let us say 250 grade here, or um, if you see in uh, angle groups, uh, uh, you will see those uh, these changes will be done directly in the program. Now let us say instead of 250, I will make it as um, uh, let us say 245 it is possible you can change it as 245 here and if you want to name this one as uh, some other name or uh, like um, something like uh, only um, AMST something like that if you want to make it you can as well make change make the changes and you can see that uh, output uh, the other files got updated accordingly okay so like this you can change this data and similarly let me revert it back to MST MS and to and similarly you can say you can review all the yield strength tensors and the values board diameter values <coughs> that you want to use it for this project and this is some of the information for future purpose I will put this one at this point of time we are not using this data but you can also review what is the person connected member force for redundant design what is the wind pressure value you can specify you can review this data and change this value accordingly to your project the moment when you change this value here all the sheets that are dependent on this one example like uh, wind load uh, sheets all these things will get updated accordingly if you see here uh, it is uh, specs data f23 let me show how it gets updated here let us say we have um, wind calculation here here the wind pressure it shows as 71.49 which is uh, referencing to project specs sheet 
So the moment when I change the value here, uh, you can see that uh, the program updates all the uh, data that is uh, depending on these values. Similarly, gas drag values also. The moment uh, when you change these uh, drag values based on the uh, loading standard that you choose, the program computes the data uh, for uh, body wind loads uh, according to the values that you give here. I mean, you don't need to run anything, just, in, just change this value and uh, automatically it updates the data here um, in uh, wind load calculations. If you see, there are some uh, functions written here. The moment when you change the values there here, the program has got a drag function which is uh, dependent on the drag table and the solidity ratio. Similarly, the program also calculates the gust based on the table that is there in the project specs and the panel uh, CG height with reference to the bottom elevation. So all these sheets are interlinked here. So going back to the required current uh, video's uh, agenda is uh, to copy the data to the PLS. Now we have the primary nodes data, secondary nodes, sections. I will show you how to copy this data. Copy this data, copy here. Go to PLS, primary joints, make it paste here, and again go back to the Excel, go to the secondary sheets, copy, geometry, secondary joints, paste, and then go into the next sheet, sections, copy. Geometry sections again the next sheet is angle groups copy go to PLS okay. since I don't have any angle database here I need to copy the data here I forgot to copy this uh, data. Let me go back to this uh, uh, steel database. Copy this one. I can paste this one here. And similarly, I can go to the Bolts database. We have an angle database that we can copy here. Go to the angle database. We have angles database here specified in this one. You are free to change this angle database based on your requirement and you can change this one. Automatically all the relevant reference to the Excel sheet will get updated. Say paste. You can see all the data here copied here. You can review all the data before copying. And then now if we go to the angle groups, let me go to the angle groups, copy this data, go to the angle groups. And then the last step to is copy the angle members. Copy geometry test, and now you can see the geometry generator. That is how any complex geometry can be created using this uh, tau -geom geometry. Now you can review the data, whatever is created here, and uh, based on this uh, data, whatever you have here, uh, you can check whether it is matching with your inputs. And then the next step is uh, apply the loads on this tower and run the tower uh, for the applied loads. That's that is the way how you can copy the inputs from tau jump to uh, PLS tower. Hope uh, this is uh, this video is useful for uh, copying the data 
If you have any comments, please feel free to email us or put a comment at the bottom of the link. We can see that bottom of the video so that we can address it. Thank you for watching this video.